zombie animals controlled by parasites. Zombies, brain-eating creatures that are controlled by a virus. Believe it or not, these characters exist in the animal kingdom, but in this case, parasites control them. Get ready to discover the dark side of nature. Number 1. Grasshopper Let's start with one of the singers in nature. Unfortunately, I didn't come to talk to you about how wonderful the grasshoppers are, but how much they suffer from being controlled by the Strepsiptera, those horrible parasites. Males look a lot like flies, but females are kind of horrifying. Because they have no legs, no wings, and no eyes. These creatures choose the grasshopper as a host for them to reproduce. Once they're inside the insect, females go towards the head so that they breathe and expel pheromones, so males will find them and mate with them. Interesting. The worst part is the poor grasshopper remains immobile and is controlled by the female that fully manages the insect's behavior. Check this out. The grasshopper can do nothing, but there's more. When the parasite's eggs hatch, it makes the insect throw the entire litter of larvae up over the flowers so they can get into another insect. Number 2. Cephalotes atratus This ant species likes to grow fungi on chewed leaves and it's found in Central and Southern America and parts of the Southern United States. These ants are unlucky enough to also be infected by parasites the Myrmeconoma neotropicum. When infected, the ant's abdomen turns reddish, and the longer the ant is parasitized, the redder its abdomen turns. Look! Awful! The victim gets slower and walks, showing a raised and striking abdomen. Another thing that this parasite does is to change the ant's behavior, making it go up to clear and unprotected places so that they can be found by predators. <laughs> How? How? I know, that's confusing. But what this parasite wants to achieve is to get a bird to eat the infected ant so that the parasite passes through the bird's digestive system. It defecates the eggs out and the ants consume them so the parasite's life cycle repeats. Number 3. Succinia putris These little snails are all over Costa Rica and Mexico. They live under leaf litter, but unfortunately, the fate of the snails is very sad. What are you talking about? I'm saying that they're controlled by the larva-like parasite Leucochloridium paradoxum that gets fully developed in birds, but begins its process in snails. It all starts when a snail ingests the excrement of an infected bird with this parasite. Once inside, this parasite controls the snail's nervous system, so the snail does unnatural things, such as climbing up trees or being dragged to open and sunny areas. That is a terrible, terrible idea. I think the same. But this happens because the invader wants to be eaten by a bird. It even goes up to the highest and most visible place to make a hole in the snail's head or get into its ocular tentacles, making the parasite look like a worm and the birds eat it. Watch this. When the parasite is eaten, the biological cycle starts over. Nature can be horrifying. Number 4. European Pine Sawfly Caterpillar This caterpillar has a quiet lifestyle, but it all changes when the parasite baculovirus attacks the caterpillar. This parasite totally changes the caterpillar's behavior and controls it through the hormonal system. The parasite is able to get the caterpillar's steroid hormone inactive, so the caterpillar turns into a zombie. Did you expect that? Not really. This parasite also causes discoloration, stress, decomposition, and lethargy in the caterpillar, meaning it makes slow movement or doesn't make any and stops eating. The sad part is that before the little caterpillar dies, it climbs up to the highest leaf and never comes down again. This happens because the caterpillar gets melted and it falls like a raindrop, releasing the parasites into the lower leaves. Number 5. Gypsy Moth Caterpillar Even though these creatures are harmless to everybody, they're affected by the Glyptopantales wasps. And this is the most shocking case on the list due to the cruelty rating. 
This wasp is able to lay up to 80 eggs in the caterpillar. That's, that's terrible. And you haven't seen it all yet. These larvae manipulate the caterpillar so it can't move or eat, and it protects them from any intruder. This is devastating. The caterpillar isn't only a bodyguard, but its body fluids are consumed by the larvae. The zombie caterpillar is still alive until all the wasps get fully developed and eat the caterpillar's skin. Finally, they become a cocoon on a branch or leaf. Number 6. Western Honeybee Bees! These little insects are very necessary because they produce honey and pollinate flowers. But not even they are safe from the well-known zombie fly. I know, it's terrible. These creatures specifically choose the western honeybees that live on the west coast of the United States, as well as South Dakota and Vermont. This is terrible. Really frightening. I'll show you the way this creature lays its eggs in the bee. So what she does is to insert that ovipositor into the weak spot between their abdominal segment and start putting eggs into the bee. Having these eggs inside, the bee stops working and leaves the colony. Its behavior changes, and it starts acting like a moth since it moves towards light. When the eggs hatch, the larvae feed and develop inside the bee. Then the larvae surface from behind the head of the host bee, and the insect dies. 7. Wood Cricket These amazing insects need to regulate their body temperature, and they do it by singing. But their biggest concern is not keeping warm, but it's the Gordian worm. Do you see it? What is that? They're terrible parasites that make crickets kill themselves. But before finishing off the cricket, the parasites grow to take up the whole body and manipulate it by releasing a protein that affects the cricket's nervous system. These worms are in the water that the mosquito larvae drink, which in turn are eaten by the crickets. As the parasite is inside these insects, it absorbs the cricket's energy resources and wears them out completely. After completing their development, these worms must come back to their aquatic habitat, so they manipulate the insect's brain and the host goes wherever they want. Once these worms are in their habitat, they surface and the unfortunate host drowns. Just take a look at how they come up from them. Shocking! Number 8. Cobweb Spider Arachnids may not be pleasant to humans, but no spider deserves being infested so ruthlessly. The Zatapata percontatoria wasps inject their eggs into the poor spider's abdomen. <sighs> the most disgusting thing is that the eggs feed on the spider, taking all of their nutrients. The cycle of these parasitic insects begins when the female lays an egg inside the spider's abdomen. After that, the mental control begins. These larvae, from the inside, make the spider quit its normal pattern of spinning webs and start doing a completely different thing. The spider builds a perfect wasp cocoon so that the parasite is far from the ground. Interesting. Then the arachnid makes a hood to protect the wasp from the weather. The worst part is coming. When the customized web is ready, the larva comes up from the spider and kills it mercilessly. Number 9. American Cockroach I know, seeing a roach around your house isn't nice. You get rid of roaches by using an insecticide or by stepping on them. But did you know that a parasite also eliminates them? Why? Why is that? Because the emerald cockroach wasp uses the American cockroach for its young. In the beginning, the adulthood of these parasitic insects is independent, but later, they will depend on a roach to get developed. The first thing the parasites will do is to inject a toxin into the roach so that the insect is paralyzed. Then, they'll take advantage of that to grab the roach at the antenna and lead it to their burrow, where they'll put the eggs into the roach. Once it is a zombie, the insect will be in a vegetative state, will walk slowly, won't eat, and won't have reflexes. At that time, the larva will grow and live by feeding on the internal organs of the roach. Watch it here! After that, the larva will kill the roach and leave its body. Bonus, Cereal Leaf Beetle. This time, I'm going to tell you about the dangerous wheat, oats, and barley pest, but mainly about its larvae. Little light yellow creatures that turn black because they camouflage themselves with their fecal matter. 
what is really scary is that they're attacked by the Tetrastichus julius wasp. These insects make a hole in the larva's cortex and place their eggs in there so they can develop and feed inside the larvae. They do that between two and a half weeks and three weeks. After that, they emerge from the host insect and kill it in the process. These parasites aren't frowned upon because they get rid of crop destroyers. You better take a deep breath before I show you the next case because you would never imagine how much pain a parasite can cause to an insect. Number 10. Carpenter Ant The carpenter ant is named so because it can chew into wooden structures to build their nests, and yet they can't get out of turning into zombies. The fungi family Cordyceps are parasites that get into an ant's body to feed on it, grow, and get fully developed. So much so that the tissues of these parasites even replace those of the ant. To get into the ant, the parasite infects it through mortal spores, releasing chemicals that allow the fungus to take over the unfortunate insect's nervous system. Look at how the unfortunate ant is fighting back the dominance of this parasite. The ant is controlled, so its behavior has changed. It climbs up a plant to the highest and wettest level so that the fungus can grow. The parasite makes the ant sink its mandible into a leaf so that the parasite can grow from the inside, pushing a long stem out of the dead insect's head. Here you can watch this action. In this way, the stems release more spores and infect new ants. With this list, it's clear to me that zombies exist, at least in the animal kingdom. Which one impacted you the most? If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content. Don't go, I still have more terrifying videos for you. Click here or here, you won't regret it.